stuck in a tree, stuck in a tree. Did it start me with the map? Okay. All right, Life. go. All right, I see you now. I see me too. I'm walking on something. Sunshine. All right, I'm going to, I am up at the village up in the corner, so let me head on down. I am sure you can see where the uh, guild house is. Holy moly. <laughs> I told you it was big. The front door is at the back corner. Hi, sheep. Let's see, let's see, where are you? You are over this way. I don't know right. how to get down. Uh, double, uh, double jump. There we go. I'm gonna fly. Uh, I'm so no, fly. stop flying. <laughs> Follow me this way, and I will show you around. Hover, 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 hover. So I'm starting to grow some ivy vines all over the place. Uh-huh. So here's our front door to the guild house. Darn it. Close the door because the animals like coming in. I can't oh, close, the, close door. the door. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. So, this is our downstairs. In our downstairs, we have our training area with, uh, I, uh, friend request. I will answer your friend request after I am out of this. Will you stop flying around, please? <laughs> Okay, I am done flying and for now. So I can't actually tell what these are supposed to be, if they're supposed to be doors or windows. I just made them windows. We have our bathing area over here. Um, off and on for a few months, actually, Panda. Um, okay. Orbo is now clean, taking a bath. <laughs> because we have no banners yet in this. And then, uh, we have our little training area, since we're fighting guild and everything. We have stairs up here, but we'll go this way instead. So we have our uh, downstairs bathroom, which have sink and toilet. <laughs> or both using the facilities. And uh, then we have our washer dryer set right here. Did you flush? Maybe. <laughs> he goes back, yes. Alright, then we have stairs up to the next floor. We have awesome bay windows in the corner. We have this floor's bathroom. Every floor has bathrooms. We have Chef Nyanto's kitchen, which has two stoves and a double sink. And then we have the main area of the guild house with our little seating area. I make very, very primitive um, furniture here. We have Shiroi's office. Just break the wall. Hold on. You're I in hate, trouble. I really hate creative mode sometimes. We have Shiroi's desk, Shiroi's bookcases, Shiroi's actual bedroom, his bed, and more bookcases. And over here we have closet. We have room with his little uh, all of those crack air. Will you stop flying inside my house, please? <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, this would be Minori's room. Her little desk and chair and bed. Huh. Uh, this would be Toya's room, which has a bed in it and nothing else. Because <laughs> I can't exactly build an armor stand or anything. Oh, yes, we have the giant tree that is growing up out of the middle of the house. Holy crap. <laughs> that was really fun to make, the giant tree. So over this way, we have entrance to our balcony and the lovely lounge chair that now to do like laying down on. Did I lose you? Well, you said no flying inside. <laughs> this is now the boozer room. He has a lovely red carpet because that's the color it was in the uh, map. We have the Katami mat floor and the futon in the corner for um, a cupcake room. And then we have Rudy and Izuru's rooms, which I don't even don't remember if I put beds in them. Oh, I did put beds in them. Okay. Your house is so big, someone in chat says it looks like a hotel. Well, it's a guild <laughs> house, so you got to have enough room for everybody in the guild. Which, uh, currently, there are 
eight members. More bathrooms. <laughs> there are lots of bathrooms in this house. And bathroom. <laughs> These are unused bedrooms along here. And we have more balcony. I haven't put the clothesline up yet. Minori has a uh, clothesline out on one of the floors. And we have random room over here that has a tree growing through the room. Hmm. But unfortunately, the only stairs are over in the corner now. Probably why the top floors don't get used that much. We have more bathrooms, more tree growing through the house, more spare bedrooms, another balcony. There's another room out here that has a tree growing through it. More bathrooms? Not really a whole lot on the floor <laughs> for the next one. Next floor, more bathrooms. It is a guild guild <laughs> from a, uh, a an anime uh, back. Uh, back there. So yeah, so this floor is again the same. More tree growing through everything. And then finally we come to the roof. Now is there a bathroom on the roof? There is not a bathroom on the roof. <laughs> and be careful that you don't fall although you won't get go flat. Okay, so you do have to grow fly a little bit here so you can see the awesomeness that is my uh, water tank. Oh nice. And then I have my little flower bed and the tree. I'm probably going to add another table up top because I know they like having dinner barbecues up top. But, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to put a roof toilet. Every room should have a toilet. But this is the Log Horizon Guild House. You know, there's only one other thing really of interest in this world, but... So people, we might as well fly. Will you get out of the water tank? Oh, man. Might as well fly. You do know how to sprint fly, right? I assume it's the same as sprinting on the ground? Yeah, you just have to make sure that your angle is kept up. Otherwise, you will plummet to the ground. And I just have to keep checking my map so I don't remember exactly where I'm going. Whee! I've been down. I've been down. Uh... Play. Here's one of my villages I found. It's not this village. I can show you the village that's on top of a lake. They literally can't get around because all of their uh, houses open into uh, water. Wait for me! Well, I'm trying to remember where I'm going. This village? Yes, it is this village. Okay. <laughs> People have not seen what a fully uncovered uh, desert temple looks like. I am very close to where you are. Oh, nice. That's a desert temple? Yeah. Oh, have you never seen a fully uncovered desert temple either? Negative. Yeah. Shia or Shy Spy, I I'm coming to PS4 soon, but I'm gonna host it myself. That way, I, if things go wrong, I can do what I gotta do. This is a desert temple. Okay, not quite fully uncovered. I've still got some sand in there, but in a desert temple, right underneath the blue uh, wool in the center, there is a hole. You can fall down, and in that hole, there is a pressure plate at the bottom. If you land on the pressure plate, it sets off the TNT that's down there. So you need to find an alternate way to get down there and get to all the chests which have already been looted. But. Oh, wow, that's really neat. Uh, is this PS3? Yes, this is PS3 version. This is pretty impressive. This, this is pretty much what I decided to do the last time I was in this, because I'd finished the guild house. I decided I was going to fully excavate the, um, the temple. Now, I have a question for you. Alright. If you had PS4 version, what would you do with the, what would you do on there? Because, you know, the map size is 25, 25 times bigger. I'd probably start bringing in a lot of the stuff that I built in the, um, uh, in the, um, uh, 360 version. Mm-hmm. 
I've got, uh, I've actually got a bunch of stuff that I'm working on in there. I've got the, um, the Narumi Detective Agency from Kamen Rider Double. I've got another Pokemon gem I made. I love making Pokemon gems. Um, I've got, um, I'm working on building the Gokai Galleon from, uh, Gokaiger. I am also building the TARDIS. Oh, nice. And the TARDIS is indeed bigger on the inside. Whoa. Because inside of the door is another portal. Oh, that's pretty cool. The, the inside of the TARDIS is actually a room inside the nether. Are you having fun bouncing around? What's funny is that I'm like half the time I'm just watching your thing to see where you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, while you're flying, also you can just hit up and down. And that will actually uh, raise you up and, and lower you slowly. Madness. You can also hit left and right to move side to side to side. I'm hovering with the power of the desert temple. Yes, I, I excavated that whole big area because I wanted to be able to see what the whole thing looks like. That is pretty neat. So was it just under a bunch of stand or was some of it sticking out? A lot of it was sticking out. I didn't have a whole lot of it excavation to do on the uh, the temple itself. Uh, it was mainly around it so that you could see it decently. Oh, okay. My uh, my non-creative mode that I start next to the desert temple. Um, I'm working on excavating that too. Oh, nice. Uh, Ads and Riley, you guys just missed the two-hour multiplayer mode for Minecraft play PS3. I am getting ready to start up the PS4 multiplayer. If you guys have multi have a PS4 and PlayStation Plus, you're more than welcome to join. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of here. Okay, but you can go and get switched over. Okay.